In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Game Guardian on your Android device. But if you're on iOS, please stick around as well as to the very end of the video, as I will be explaining or better yet, giving you tips on how to do it for yourself. Just a heads up, guys, I linked everything you need down below in the description. Now to start things off, you need to go to this website right here. It's called x8sb.com. Now this is a virtual box that we're going to be downloading on our device. Now, once you're on this page, go ahead and click download. Now, just a heads up, this is a large file, and that's due to the fact that because this is in fact a virtual box that's basically an entire separate operating system that we're going to be overlaying over our current android system so next what you want to do is head over to the second link in the description click on the three lines in the top right corner and simply scroll down until you see download this file click on that and go ahead and download game guardian once those two things are downloaded head over to my files and then go to your recent downloads and just click on each one install both of these apks if you get prompted to enable unknown sources go ahead and follow that through and enable unknown sources if you haven't done so already but just keep in mind any future apks you decide to download moving forward from here you are always taking a chance worth slowing down your device now from here guys i recommend you go over to your settings and then click on your search bar and from there you want to look up appear on top under your special access once in this tab you want to go ahead and click on appear on top from here you want to go ahead and search x8 sandbox because from here you want to make sure that it's enabled go ahead and find the sandbox application and open it right up now there are a few more steps that i do recommend from here go to your settings tab and make sure that 64-bit app support is in fact enabled as well as external navigation bar now while you're here it's also optional that you can also bump up your frame rate for your games but that's more so if your device can support it once you make sure those things are in fact enabled now you just want to go to the sandbox's home screen and click on add apps make sure you have the Google Play Store installed as well as Google Play games services installed this way you guys will be able to actually sign into Google Play and your apps won't necessarily have any hiccups later down the line okay cool so once you signed into Google Play and everything is good to go head back over to the APK tab and go ahead and add Game Guardian okay from here just head over to the apps tab and then pretty much from there just add any game that you want to actually attempt to hack now in this case I'm gonna be using BitLife as an example because I know you guys are more interested in that now if you want to make sure that your game is actually added go ahead to the top right corner and click on the little arrow drop down and that's gonna show you your downloaded games all right, so once on the home screen, you wanna go ahead and click on one of the Game Guardian applications. And then from there, it should open up. And then at the bottom right, just click on start. Now, somewhere on the screen, you should be prompted with the Game Guardian shield. And from here, just go ahead and pick the game you selected. Okay, so now it's finally time to hack BitLife. I'm gonna be doing the salary hack that I did in the last video. Okay, so once you hit the age of 18, you can go ahead and actually apply for a job. So in this case, I found a job as a stuntman, paying out $28,310. And then the top left corner you want to go ahead and click on that prompt and then make sure that the game that you're trying to hack which is the current one running is actually selected now you want to look up the number that you want to modify so in this case we're going to go to our search tab and let's go ahead and look up 28,310 and don't worry you don't need to add a comma now there are different values in the game I tend to leave it on auto this way you can search all of the different possibilities to hack in the game okay so once you have successfully done your first search all you want to do is just age up and then from here wait until you get a bump up in your income this way we can actually modify the next number okay so now that our salary is a little bit higher we're going to go ahead and open up game guardian again and now search for 43,410 go ahead and click on refine and from here we should be left with one value so from here we can change it to whatever we want now if you want to hit infinity they give you a little cheat sheet where it says input value from and it shows you the negative number all the way to the max number so that is the lowest possible number you can enter in versus the the highest possible number you can actually enter. So if you put in 3.4 E plus 38, in this case for the float, this would actually give you infinity dollars. But I think it's better to do the cliche of just 99999. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so once you're satisfied with the number that you've inputted, you wanna just go ahead and actually click out of Game Guardian and then go right back to where your salary was. And then if we click off and click back on, you can now see that our annual salary is well over a hundred sextillion dollars so now we know that our hack actually worked now pretty much from here all I'm gonna do is just continue to age up and as you can see my bank account balance it just continues to increase by this number well guys to pretty much sum it up that is exactly how you get game guardian please stay for just some minor tips that I would like to share with you and answer a few questions as I know they're going to be in the comment section so one of the questions that I'm sure that's going to be asked or more so that I get asked a lot is that why don't you just hack the actual bank number itself now this does in fact work 
work with certain games, certain games that have currency, coins, money, dollars, whatever you want to call it. They do allow that. But in certain games like BitLife, if you try to hack this number directly, there's a good chance that you may not actually be able to find that particular value. Not to say that the value does not exist because obviously it does, but it requires just a few bit more steps. And that's not something we're going to be covering in this particular video. Now, this leads me on to my next tip. So if it can be hacked, if you go overboard with it, just know that your game could crash. Now, I do want to answer this question for my Apple users. Can you get Game Guardian on your Apple device? And the short answer is yes, you actually can. The only problem with doing this is that you would have to require a jailbreak in order to do this. Now, if you don't already have a jailbroken iOS device, you are going to be taking the chances of potentially voiding the warranty of your device if it is in fact a new device. So keep that in mind. I didn't want to go ahead and do that mostly because everyone's iOS device could be different. So obviously if I have an iPhone 12, you might have an iPhone 8, which means the jailbreaking processes are potentially different between devices. Firmware means absolutely everything. And I hope I'm not confusing the hell out of you. Now, if you made it this far into the video, I just wanna say I appreciate you so much for watching. Thank you very much. Of course, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Now, let me know if this in fact did help you. And if it did in any way, shape or form, please consider supporting the channel down below and one of the other links we have here on the channel. Go follow me on my other social medias and check out my Twitch guys because I do stream from time to time and I appreciate you guys so much. Let me know what else videos you want to see here on the channel and as always guys I'll see you, yes you, in the next one. Peace.